What's good, y'all? It's Bull Ross back at again with another video. So, I'm gonna check out why we love WWE Raw after WrestleMania. Now, this year's Raw after WrestleMania was pretty enjoyable. Shout out to the Philly crowd, they were amazing, they were fantastic. The main reason why we watch uh, Raw after WrestleMania is one, to see the fallout of what happened at the previous night, and two, the crowds. The crowds bring the energy they bring the unique chance they bring that excitement and it's always it's like a, a reset you know you may see some nxt call-ups you may see some returns you may see some surprising things on top of the crowd being electric it makes for a great show now last year's was abysmal this year's pretty solid shout out to the philly crowd once again y'all showed up for monday night raw and uh we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support let's get right into this one man one two is this on historically the raw after wrestlemania has been one of wwe's most fun nights of the year not only is it a fresh start for the year ahead but a chance to reintroduce characters and debut new wrestlers you're next It's a show that features the most hardcore of fans. This is my yard now. Legendary moment. Legendary moment. Providing an electric atmosphere with some of the most unique chants. <laughs> I don't know if he likes that chant. For this video, we're going to highlight crowds like this. This is a good crowd. This as week. well as great moments, memorable returns, mm -hmm. debuts, angles, and much more. My tag team division is full, but I hear that TNA is hiring. <laughs> Today oh. we showcase the best of Raw after WrestleMania. The first Raw after WrestleMania acts as a reset for the upcoming year. This I makes it the say. perfect place for a fresh start. You look to the click. It's why we've seen so many returns occur during the annual episode. Oh no! The, the original pro, Matt Riddle, is back on Monday Night Raw. Not only that, but this Raw is typically one of the most watched of the year, since one of the reasons fans tune in is to see which stars will return, regardless if it's a returning legend. <laughs> Not so this is a cool moment too. This, this week on Raw, that was dope. Talent coming back from injury. Legacy just. Oh my! It is. This is a surprise. Roman Reigns is not going to enjoy the return of Samoa Joe. <laughs> Welcome Hello, back, Sami Zayn! Or someone being completely repackaged. Get ready! Wait a minute! You look stupid! Oh my god! Rest in peace, Marga. Marga? No. Oh my god! In a similar vein to Returns, debuting on this episode can have a big impact. It's gonna change the camera! No, it's just down there! Oh, Even if the wrestler has been signed for months or is coming up from NXT. <laughs> he barely got to it. That was a crazy moment too. This is cool to see. Ilya out there, man. Definitely looking forward to seeing what he does on the main roster. The Raw After Mania provides an ideal platform to kickstart their WWE career. Yes! Yes! A thousand! Yeah, only, only if Vince actually gave a damn about tag team wrestling could these guys have been something very special in WWE. That's all I'm saying. Or on the main roster at least. Times, yes! 
This is cool too. Bada boom! Realist guys in a room! How you doing? Among some of the great Bro so After WrestleMania moments are the angles of the show where storylines either kicked off. Or ended. In other words, Steve Austin, you're fired. We get a little bit of everything on this roll. I came out here to see what you got. She's gonna show the Undertaker what she's got. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's gonna cost you, man. No. The biggest show of the year has just happened, so fans want to now see how all the pieces of the puzzle fit. Yep. Get your ass back down here. Away from behind. The nice Wait a minute. Yep. Been assaulted. And what new stories will be told. This is so cool ago. too. No, Some, when the shield had turned, that shit was so fucking tough, bro. Uh, feuds will still continue, but nevertheless, it's all about the follow-up. It goes straight to your head. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. But fucking Michael, not Michael Cole, Booker T screaming. Oh! <laughs> Look at this again. Straight <laughs> to your head. <laughs> oh, <God>. oh. <laughs> and then Michael Cole. With all the returns. Getting that five down his shoes. Chef's kiss. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just funny, bro. Debuts and angles going down on such a show, the matches can often be secondary. Despite this, there's been several great matches featured on the Raw after WrestleMania. Yeah, you that crap. There is no way this Ricochet launched it at the end Alundra Blaze's women's title win over Bull Nakano in 1995 rivaled their epic SummerSlam encounter from the prior year. Their match on Raw was an exceptional contest that was far ahead of its time. I'm going out of my mind here! Wait a minute! Bull Nakano! After WrestleMania 21, Edge followed up his Money in the Bank victory with a spectacular match against Chris Benoit. The pugnacious, the tenacity of Benoit, the idiocy! That's how he got those 25 minutes! <laughs> Speaking of Money in the Bank, in 2013 it was all about mm -hmm. Dolph Ziggler cashing in. Oh, this is so good. Look at this, look at that. Still one of the greatest cash ins of all time, bro. We got a world champion. Ziggler's match with Daniel Bryan in 2015 was so good the two wrestlers received a standing ovation, whilst the bout was still in progress. To the universe, who's the best? Yeah, look at the crowd. Standing ovation for the oh, WWE Universe. Better, better, better. A huge WWE. all star tag match stole the show in 2009. Ricky Steamboat was the highlight here after also impressing the previous night versus mm -hmm. Chris Jericho. Mysterio on the other. There goes Edge. There goes Jericho. It's over. In 2016, AJ Styles won an incredible number one contenders four way featuring Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens, and returning Cesaro. AJ Styles, AJ Styles. The rule after Mania became such a spectacle in no small part thanks to the boisterous crowd that create a party atmosphere. <laughs> On this night, the audience has a very international flavor to it. WWE uh -huh. fans are singing Fandango's uh -huh. entrance uh -huh. theme. <laughs> but this is this is what makes the WrestleMania, I mean the Raw after WrestleMania, great. The crowds and this year's 
Like I said, Philly, y'all showed out. Y'all were amazing. Y'all had some great chance. Y'all brought the energy and you kept the energy. That lets you know we're in, you know, we finished up WrestleMania. Now it's time to see what's going to happen going forward. You guys, that's what makes it great. You know what I'm saying? It, especially, especially if there's something that's happening in the ring that you don't care about, the crowd's going to let you know on this particular show. I love it. Feels like a party. They've experienced as a tag team. <laughs> well, it is the night after WrestleMania. Greatest host ever in WrestleMania. Just like right now, she is dominating Bayley. And is that the reason that uh, Raw after Mania? Fans from all over the world have stayed past WrestleMania weekend to chant and provide the best reactions heard mm -hmm. all year at WWE shows. There ain't nobody. And the Rock means. Don't do that. <laughs> Uh-oh, now they're talking about you, Vince. <laughs> I would say she's certainly abnormal. <laughs> the Rock just, don't give The Rock the finger. He'll come out and whip that candy ass just like that. Need to have that. Can these people stop that? Unlike my man, Simon here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, to invoke our rematch Damn clause shit. tonight. <laughs> Just when Brock thought he was... You're not gonna hijack the show on my watch. Keep your mouth shut or I'm not saying another damn word. This was great. This was great. This, him coming out there after beating The Undertaker in the crowd for 10 minutes straight, let him have it. And he didn't say a damn thing. And for whatever reason, Vince didn't pull the trigger. They should, he should have pulled the trigger. They had it. And they didn't pull the trigger. He could have been that arrogant heel. This is my yard now. He said it. I'm like, okay, I'm here for it. I'm like, is he, are they going to do it? They didn't do it at that time. But imagine if they would have turned him heel. Imagine. But this was great, though. Fantastic. Oh, away. Go. Oh, away. Go. I really did. Shut the fuck up. So I think that I would just have to say one. Yep. <laughs> Chant it now. Chant the shut the fuck up now. You piece of the trash. <laughs> the crowd in Montreal following WrestleMania 18 were incredible. This is a city which already contains some of the most passionate fans that come to events. Combining this with the international Raw After Mania contingent was a match made in heaven. Look, look at the response from these people, JR. Look at that. This is amazing! The Raw after WrestleMania 28 had one of the most memorable crowds of all time. Their constant chanting of yes for Daniel Bryan proved to be key in getting him over for the rest of the year and beyond. After this show, the yes chant began to take off with Bryan, ultimately becoming one of the company's most popular babyfaces. Yes, 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 yes. The WWE Championship up for grabs, the champion mm -hmm. punk, the challenger Mark Henry. Yes, the follow-up to WrestleMania 29 is remembered most for the match between Randy Orton and Sheamus, and not because of anything that happened inside the ring, but because of how the fans completely hijacked the show with their chants. The WWE gave a long, cold match, with no stakes to the hottest crowd of the year. Well, you're right about that. You know what that means? Absolutely anything can happen in this match. I believe in Big Show. It's Big Show. Everybody was getting chants. It's funny, Everybody was getting chants. a lot of chants tonight. My lord, this place is insane! They're <laughs> insane, they're brilliant! Now they're chanting for Lama! They're chanting my name! They've gone nuts! <laughs> 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 yes, yes. Did you just see the look on 
Sheamus's face on Randy. Randy. The trope of fans ignoring the action to chant whatever they want became much more common following this show, especially on the Raw after Mania. Beach Ball Mania. The WWE fans are chanting that. I didn't say he didn't beat him, I said he got lucky. Freak with tags being old, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. The big show. That's cold, bro. Yeah, Kofi all fired up, measuring this man, looking for their knife edge chop from the Beast Slayer. <laughs> yes, it's all going out there with the beach ball. Was not having it, bro. <laughs> In 2015, fans hijacked a six women's tag as during the commercial break, the crowd made remarks referencing the partners of some of the ladies in the ring. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> But let's not forget that these are also the most die-hard of fans. So if you give them what they want, <laughs> they'll show their appreciation and then some. That's cold. You deserve it. Mm -hmm. You deserve it. I've never seen anything like this in my life. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> Too sweet. Good, uh, man. Kofi's not messing around. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I mean it when I say this. We love you. Thank you, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Earlier we spoke about the importance of a follow-up to WrestleMania and one of the best ways to capitalize on the events of the previous night is by cutting a strong promo. With all the great decisions that Vince McMahon has made over his lifetime, the decision to expand the WWF in 1983, the decision to create WrestleMania in 1985, the infamous penis implant of 1991. What? <laughs> Your rock is a lot of things, Philadelphia, but sucks isn't one of them. Examples include a new or retaining champion addressing the people. I have pranced on God's green earth, and now I have danced in God's blue heaven. Why, Stone Cold, why? <laughs> the champ is still here! the booze. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a good guy. I'm the guy. Heels looking back on a loss. As Batista was great one night. I am great every <laughs> night. Wrestlers laying out plans every. for the future. The American wrestling fans, coast to coast, can kiss my. <laughs> and your ass is grass, and I'm gonna smoke it. <laughs> WrestleMania 28, John Cena versus The Rock. The Rock's gonna be WWE Champion. Yes, I cannot physically put that title belt into my father's hands. I cannot bestow it upon the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, but I certainly can put it around the waist of the Which American did, Nightmare. Did, my brother. You did and finally, it. a retired wrestler reflecting on their life and career. I know I'm right upstairs in heaven somewhere. I can feel mom, my dad, my brother Owen, the British Bulldog, the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels has left the building. Beautiful moment. Sad moment. I wish you all the luck in the world. Bad luck. Oh, come on! Yes! <laughs> the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to check out our similar video
on the worst WWE WrestleMania botches and bloopers. Yeah, but man. This was this was a good one, bro. This brought me back down memory lane. Just some of the, the greater uh, Monday Night Raws after Mania, man. And this year's was pretty good. I enjoyed it. So comment down below. Let me know. What's your favorite Raw after Mania of all time? Let me know down below. And uh, we can go down memory lane together. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still getting the speedy YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.